Well, no doubt about it, with local, state, and federal offices on the ballot, this year's election will be massive. Tonight, we begin looking at races for state senator and representative. Only one race for state senate in our area this year, and it won't occur until this fall when Democrat Paula Clemens Combs of Jackson takes on Republican incumbent Senator Brandon Smith of Hazard. 84th District State Representative is also a fall race as Democrat Tom R. Tom R. Pope of Harlan takes on Republican incumbent Representative Chris Fugit of Chavez. We get our first primary race in the 90th District. The incumbent Representative Tim Couch of Hyden takes on Derek Lewis of London in the Republican primary. There is no Democrat uh, opponent. In the 91st District, we have the potential for a rematch of the 2016 race as Democrat uh, Democratic former Representative Cluster Howard has filed to run for the seat taken from him by Republican incumbent representative Toby Harold of Beattyville. But for that race to happen, both men will have to win primary races in May. Howard faces Bruce Strauss of Boonville in the Democratic contest. Harold faces Robert Goh, also of Boonville, in the Republican primary. In the 92nd District, Republican incumbent representative John Blanton has a matchup with Democratic challenger Ryan D. Mosley of Emelina in November. The 93rd District race will be a rematch of 2016 with Democratic incumbent Representative Chris Harris of Forest Hills in Pike County taking on Republican challenger Norma Kirk McCormick of Inez. Harris, Harris won the last contest by less than 400 votes out of over 14,000 cast. In the 94th District, Democratic incumbent Representative Angie Hatton of Whitesburg gets a pass with no one running against her. In the 95th District, Democrat Ashley Tackett Laffery of Martin has filed to run against Republican incumbent representative Larry Brown in November. In the 96th District, we have a full slate of contests as the only candidate not from Grayson, Kathy Hinkle of Louisa, faces Brandon Music in the Democratic primary. Meanwhile, incumbent representative Jill York takes on Charles Clark in the Republican contest. The winner of each race will square off in November. Finally, the 97th District will have a new state representative as incumbent William Scott Wells did not file for re-election. Instead, Republican Bobby McCool of Van Leer will square off in May against Russell Halsey of Pine Ridge for the right to take on the winner of the Democratic race between Craig Linden of Campton and Isaac Allen of Grassy Creek. Tomorrow we'll have a look at the candidates for the Court of Appeals. Back to you, Gary.